What's up YouTube? I'm back. Let's do this. First video. Um, I think 2020 was a year that everyone can like relate to. But yeah, 2020 is gonna be one of those years that will be remembered forever. Just be happy that you were part of history. It's not good history, but you know, you're a part of history. Today's topic is actually a series by Jeff Wittick. I think that's his name. Um, Beefy Boys. Beefy Boys on the internet. They will compete for a life-changing $10,000 to see which one of these Beefy Boys can lose the most weight. It's a um, biggest loser ripoff. It's a, it's a show where they show uh, people that want to lose weight. So Jeff takes them on a journey to lose weight. Uh, this time, he has uh, three characters or three personalities, if you want to call them. Jonah, a previous contestant and winner of the first series. Lincoln. Lincoln is a comedian who rose to fame on TikTok. Airsoft Fatty is a YouTube star that rose to fame after a popular YouTuber, iDubs, made a documentary. And I really want to talk about the accuracy of how they portray uh, overweight people. Here I am, 388 pounds. How about asthma? Heart pressure, blood pressure, diabetes. I've got every reason to bitch to be playing. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. You wanna call it? Nope. Sure? I'm gonna keep going. When I was watching this series, it made me like think about when I was losing weight. Because for a, for a large part of my life, I, I was, I was um, you could tell I was borderline eating disorder. I had an eating disorder and I, I suffered with a lot of like overweight issues. And I, I even went to a program where they actually taught me to lose weight and taught me how to eat better and all that stuff. You know, usually things you don't learn in school, which I think should be, should be taught in school. Um, there's certain scenes that I will probably play throughout the whole video where you can tell that this is, this is legit, this is real, this is happening. And you skip the workout. I'm doing a video too, bro. I'm doing something that's trying to change. Okay, bro, stay back. If you're not gonna respect me, okay, you don't okay, need to get out of the camera. Stay back. Fine. You're talking about respect here? This kid just almost died. He stared death in the face and he overcame it. He showed up 40 minutes late yesterday. He didn't even I'm show up today. We just f***ing put our work in. We did something extremely hard. <laughs> this is unbearable. You know, personally for me, it was like, when I first started to lose weight, it was for me trying to be okay with change. Eat certain, certain things less and eat other things more. Doing that overnight is, in my opinion, impossible. And it's, it's small things to people that are healthy, like, like I guess I wouldn't classify myself super healthy, but individuals that are healthy, they don't see the bad habits over what people do. Like to Fatty, eating a loaf of bread, five slices, eight, six slices might be normal, but to a certain person, you know, eating two or eating three and it's whole grain and it has all these nutrients and, and you're feeling better about yourself, you know, that that's normal. Going from that to that, from one day to another is, in my opinion, impossible and probably unhealthy. Trust me, I know it looks weird, but... What the heck is that? It's got kale, spinach, protein, chia seeds. Ooh. It's got a lot of good stuff. I hate to say it now that you got it, but I hate lettuce and stuff like that. Okay. Be optimistic. Ooh. How is it? No, it's not that bad. That is bad. Fatty is like, I think, the epitome of the optimistic person that wants to lose weight looks like. So he portrays an image of being good. There's a part of the video where they show him, like, kind of relapse or hide him eating um, certain unhealthy items. And I think this shows this perfectly because as much as you might think a person is doing good to lose weight, there are certain things you won't be able to fix from one day to another. I'd like to share a little bit more about myself. I grew up in a stressful household. My parents were always fighting. And I was homeschooled up until the fourth grade. I didn't know how to talk to people. I wanted to make people laugh, but I lost myself into addiction. I didn't know how to handle the thousands of hate comments I got. I wanted to end my life. What kept me going was love. If you got a problem with the way I look, talk, or am, you're the problem. Stop hating on people because they're different and don't fit into culture. I'm trying to overcome severe social anxiety and depression and inspire people. Lincoln is a character in the show. It, it, it shows a side of obesity that is so secretive yet so vastly popular. Uh, Lincoln is this like awkward, shy person on camera. And I think off camera, of course, he probably is the same. But he shows a, a, a person that wants to lose weight but really doesn't have the cues, skills to get out there and to start losing weight on their own. So when they get this offer, it's almost mind-boggling to them and it, it, it's almost like too much so in the show Lincoln 
gets an anxiety attack. Lincoln, how you doing? I'm doing. Doing okay. You're not feeling so good? Oh, no. It's been a great time here. Why did I leave early? Because I'm just a shy and awkward guy. Yeah. Showing that he got an anxiety attack is so great. I know it's bad, but it's so great because it shows what true people that want to lose weight go through. There's people that have so much that overwhelms them. They have some people even travel to lose weight, like they go to another place so they find a trainer, or you know, you have to go to another city, drive to another city. Like you have to leave that little nest. And many times it takes a lot to do that. I'm being serious. No, dude, I'm not fing around. It's not about that. What do you mean? No. We're just filming. We're just vlogging. I just came, I just want to go say what's up. I know you're gonna, you're coming here doing this shit. He's your brother, and he's gonna hug you. What the fuck's your problem? Don't curse at me. I didn't ruin your shoot. We're filming BTS. Don't Don't threaten people, dude. Jonah shows a side of losing weight that is very closed. Or at any instance where you kind of go off the script and push them to a certain point where they're not comfortable with it, they start to be aggressive with you. Uh, personally for me, it was usually when people started to push me too much to change and it didn't come from, from me. Like um, someone telling me, don't eat that. And then automatically, you know, as a person or as a human, you want to eat it. So you kind of become aggressive and do the opposite of what they tell you. He constantly does want to lose weight, but he, he gets pushed to the limit and then he like tips over. And then he, you could say relapses, but he doesn't relapse in the show completely, but he kind of goes back. He hits it back. It was more like a, like a fight. But these three individuals do a, such, such, such a good job of portraying the accuracy of, of being overweight. I'm waking out to go home. I didn't say goodbye. I know you fat f want this. Definitely this fat f right here. <laughs> it's okay, let it out, let it out. Johnny, you f hard, hard, hard. Oh, damn. Sorry, guys. They got their laptop. Uh, Jeff does such a good job as a coach. I think he makes his uh, reality with show very well, and it's still entertaining for people. Well, it was entertaining for me watching the three videos. I, I literally watched them back to back, and it, it was great. Um, he's he's strict. He's multitasking. He's doing all this stuff, and what, which is crazy, because YouTubers do so much to, to one, engage the audience, and two, stick to the script. I know it sounds bad on a, on a TV show that is trying to promote losing weight, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a show, it's a script. There's a script that needs to be followed. There's certain goals that need to be, you know, tackled. And, with for the show for it to be entertaining and for the people to actually lose weight so there's so there's so many things that are like i guess in his control he does have a team but he still is the leader so props to jeff what's the goal in life goal in life mm -hmm. make people laugh inspire people like me shine up and mm. oh yeah good stuff you want to know something about me that i don't really talk about so, I'm pretty shy and awkward myself. Oh yeah. When we started the barbershop show, I was like, "Holy sh! This is so awkward. This is never gonna work." I'm standing behind the person. We made the show more awkward unintentionally. And yeah, that's now, pretty awesome. Don't fight who you are. Just be yourself. You know. Oh, hell yeah. Gotta yeah. Be yourself. Thank you. The goal really isn't for them to lose weight to look good. Um, there's certain times where Jeff talks about wanting them to see their success actually living. Like, they, if Fatty's gonna be, you know, rich off YouTube or, or famous off YouTube or famous off social media, he wants to see Fatty enjoy all that, that wealth. Enjoy all those trips he can take. Enjoy all those perks that come with being wealthy. So, that's my message here. Go watch the show if you haven't watched it. And if you watched it, watching me commentate on it, Thank you, but go watch it again. Trust me, watching, watching, it's good, it's good. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, share, comment, you know, all the, all the stuff you always hear. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll watch you on the next video. Goodbye.